Have you ever stopped to wonder how music is formed? How the simple rubbing of a bow against a string can create richness, depth, and complexity? Musical sound consists of many elements, but one of the main ingredients is harmonics. Harmonics, also referred to as overtones or partials, are resonant frequencies which are organized in a universal mathematical relationship called the harmonic series. This relationship is the same whether the sound comes from a bass, a flute, or from the human voice itself. To understand this mathematical relationship, we must first define the fundamental frequency. The fundamental is the vibration that occurs when the whole of an instrument resonates. The fundamental frequency of a guitar string is produced, for instance, when the string vibrates up and down as a whole. We perceive this resonance as the dominant pitch. But this is not the only vibration that occurs when the guitar string is plucked. It also vibrates in halves, thirds, fourths, etc. all at once. These sub-vibrations produce the harmonics. If the fundamental is 220 Hz, meaning that it vibrates 220 times per second, the second harmonic will be found at 440 Hz, twice the fundamental. The third harmonic will be at 660 Hz, three times the fundamental. The fourth harmonic at 880 Hz, four times the fundamental, etc. Our minds and ears do not perceive the harmonics individually. Rather, the strength and quantity of the harmonics comes across as timbre or tone color to our ears. It's what makes a trumpet brassy and a bass go thump. We also can consider harmonics and their relationships through the lens of the Western musical system, where they also appear in a predictable harmony. Let's hear the middle C on a piano. Our fundamental frequency is the perceived pitch C4. The second harmonic will appear an octave up at the next C, C5. The following harmonic introduces a new note, the note G, a perfect fifth above C. The fourth harmonic produces another C. The fifth harmonic is an E. Now we have all the notes of a major triad. Continue up through the eighth harmonic and we add the notes C, D, E, G, and A. These are the notes of the major pentatonic scale, one of the most foundational and widely used scales in all of music. Keep going up through the notes of the harmonic series and you will encounter all 12 tones of the western scale and many notes not found in our system at all. Not only does the harmonic series explain how vibration occurs in many pitched instruments, it relates to the structure and composition of music itself. The harmonic series follows a universal and preordained principle of vibration and makes it tangible and audible to us. Humans are drawn to the resonance of the harmonic series and have been making music reflecting this system since the beginning of musical expression itself. Beyond this, the harmonic series is highly functional. Our minds are attuned to these ratios, allowing us to navigate the world by speaking or singing, locating sounds in space, and distinguishing one person from the next.